Whenever I get hurt, people always laugh at me. And all I want is their support. Well, if you want them to stop laughing at you, maybe just stop being so hilarious when you get hurt. If you've watched the show before, you know I'm a very accident-prone kind of person. If you haven't watched the show, first, hi, welcome to my show. Second of all, now you have to subscribe, because we're that much closer now that I've told you a little secret of mine. And while yes, I am clumsy, the thing about it is that people tend to turn around and laugh at me for being clumsy. And usually the biggest outbursts of laughter are when I get hurt. I think maybe it's because I kind of overreact when I get injured like a FIFA player. Oh god. And there are two particular ways that I can usually get hurt. One is someone accidentally hurts me, and two, I accidentally hurt myself. And I've got a story to go along with each example of this. Example number one, someone accidentally hurts me. It's a very commonly known fact that I don't like to go outside. And it's for reasons like this. I was on a lovely little summer trip with a bunch of friends going to a water park about a couple hours north of here. And it was just me and a bunch of friends. We were all laughing, having a good time. It was the greatest thing in the world. And about halfway through the day, we were kind of like, you know what, it's getting kind of hot. Maybe we should just go over to the wave pool and chillax for a minute. So we all went over to the wave pool. We were having a fun time, you know, splishing, splashing, all that whatever you do in a water park. And then of course, oddly enough, the waves happened in the wave pool. Yeah, that's a thing. Which, I, I love waves. Like, I really do. I don't know why. Something about them is therapeutic and you get a little bit of exercise going on. Eh, but not too much. It's just really nice. One of my friends, however, decided that if she did not get out of the wave pool right then and there, she was going to die. So she turns around in the middle of the pool and starts swimming straight to the shore. Meanwhile, I was just gonna get to stand there and be like, yeah, I'm a gangster, I'm gonna sit here and take these waves like a real man. But while she was swimming, and you know, when you swim, your legs kick and all that, and you start kick, 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 and she started running away, swimming away, <laughs> when all of a sudden, on one of her upstrokes with her kick, she was kick, 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 right into me, and you know, there. So I am in immense amounts of pain and just kind of had to float there and was waiting, you know, floating up and down with the waves, holding down to everything I held dear. And then I hear her go behind me. I think I kicked someone. It was me. You kicked me. Which my entire group of friends thought that was just the funniest thing in the world as I was sitting there completely breathless, just bopping on the waves. Just, oh my god! So yeah, I will never go back to a wave pool, or a water park in general for that, for that very reason. Example number two, I accidentally hurt myself. So one year at school, uh, it was getting towards the end of the year, the seniors had already left, they get to leave early because they're seniors and all that, and uh, all the underclassmen were basically doing nothing in the classes because all the big tests had come and gone. So we were just chilling, waiting for the end of the year to happen. And a teacher was like, hey, you know what would be a good idea? Let's have a lip syncing competition where the winner gets a hundred dollars. Cash. And see, here's the thing. I heard this, and you know what? Even though I am not the most sociable or danceable guy, you put me on a stage and say there's a hundred dollars cash on the line, I will entertain you to the day I die. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna do it to Taylor Swift's 22. Everyone thought I was gonna be this utter embarrassment. Everyone was like, you know what? He doesn't care about what anybody thinks, which I really don't, especially when it comes to stuff like that with $100 on the line, see? But I was determined. I was going to do it. And you know what? I got up there, that music hit, and I started rocking it. I was energetic, I was hyped, I was running across the stage and jumping. I actually jumped off the stage at one point, and the entire crowd was just getting so into it, and everyone was like clapping and cheering me on, and that's when disaster struck. See, right there in the middle of the song, there's kind of a slow part, 
it's kind of heard just going ooh over and over and over again and I was out in the crowd I was like getting everyone into it like trying to get people hyped and then right as the build up to go into the next chorus you know like, hey I don't know about you but I'm feeling 20 anyway right as that came on I was gonna jump on the stage turn around and just be like hey and it was gonna be epic and amazing and it would have been awesome but, I feel like most of my life can be summed up by that statement. It would have been awesome, but... I started running up the aisleway towards the stage. I was getting ready for my epic, amazing leap, and my, basically my last stand to dance till I died. I was running, I was sprinting, everything was going in slow motion, Chariots of Fire was playing. I leaped onto the stage, and from everyone else's point of view, I heard it described like this. Oh god, yeah, this is gonna be awesome, this is gonna be awesome! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Yeah! Woo! I took a massive running leap onto the stage, but landed funny. And that's where everything went wrong. I hit the stage and was about to take my next step, when my knee was just like, nah, I don't want to be a knee today, and gave away. I felt this slight pain in my leg, but at the time I didn't really think anything of it, because I landed funny. I didn't think it was going to be anything serious. But I got up on that stage and I finished the dang show. And then realized, oh wait, my knee really hurts. To this day, I don't know what happened. We think it's something called a torn meniscus. But the next day I woke up and was like, oh man, this isn't good. And roughly for the next week, if I wanted to walk anywhere without feeling any pain, I had to strap on this lovely little thing. Pretend that's my knee. I could barely move in this thing when it's all buttoned up and everything. And at the end of it all, guess what place I got in the lip syncing competition? Second. Not even a clean second, I was tied for second. All because of a category that I didn't know existed. Apparently, if you dressed up like the person who wrote the song, you got points. And I didn't, so I get a zero in that category. Forgive me for not dressing up in drag! So I made off with $20 and no Charlie's gift cards. Yeah, first place, $100 cash. Second place, $20 and no Charlie's gift cards. I gave them away. <laughs> I put my body on the line for your entertainment. And that happens. But shortly after that was my trip to DC, so yeah, I got to tell an entire bus full of people that I had recently really severely hurt my knee because Taylor Swift is awesome. That that's my legacy. That is I hurt myself doing Taylor Swift. That is the thing I am most proud of in my life. Oh man. Thank you so much for watching. I'm kind of curious now. What are you guys' stories about how your injury led to humors or entertainment for some other person? Leave a comment down in the comments. Because that's where they go. Yeah, that was Numbers for Letters. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Mikey Deet. I've been your host for today. Don't forget to always use Numbers for Letters and stay floaty, my friends. Goodbye. <laughs>